Hi, I'm Erica. I am the owner and one of the photographers at 10 to 10 Photography. We made this video today to answer some of the most common questions that people have during their consultations. During your consult, we want to focus on learning more about you and your wedding. I hope you find this video very informative and we look forward to answering all the questions that you have during your consult. Describe your photography style. Our style is documentary based. This means we want to capture your moments as they're happening naturally and unobtrusively. We want to show real emotion and an authentic story to your wedding day. We understand that there are times in the day when you need a little bit of coaching, like during family photos or during your couple session. But for the most part, we're hands off because we want to get those natural, candid moments. What is your editing style? In the wedding world, you'll hear the term dark and moody or light and airy to define editing. And truthfully, we don't really fall into either category. Our style is vibrant and colorful and rich and warm, but it's not particularly dark or particularly light. Our style is very authentic to what the ambiance and the look of your wedding day is. This means that if you're getting married in a light and bright venue, your photos are going to look light and bright. If you're getting married in a darker, more moody venue, your photos are going to look darker and moody. We do strive for a timeless look to our photos with a flare of warmth. We embrace the natural ambiance of the day and we go with the flow. We're not here to create cookie cutter images. We're here to provide you with a unique image that really reflects your wedding day. What distinguishes you from other photographers? There's no way to answer this question without sounding a little bit cheesy, but really when it comes down to it, what's important to us is continuing education. We put a lot of effort into bettering ourselves as artists so that when we go to your wedding, we can bring the best possible version of ourselves there to capture your wedding day. We also believe in education for our clients. While you're working with us, you'll have a huge amount of resources in terms of PDFs, guides, and emails that are sent to you to help make the whole process easier and to help answer any question that you have. So what separates us from other photographers is definitely our commitment to quality of work and your experience with us. We're really awkward in front of the camera. Will you give us direction? Absolutely, we'll give you direction in front of the camera. We understand that not everyone feels comfortable or feels like they're a model when a camera is around. So don't worry, you're not alone. When it comes to our photography style, we are documentary based. That means that we want you to be as natural as possible. We don't want to work with stiff poses and make you appear like you're someone you're not. Instead, we provide gentle direction and a few prompts to help you feel like yourself but in a little bit more of a structured environment. Our goal is to provide subtle and gentle direction for you so that your images look very natural. The key to making this work is that we need participation from all the subjects that we're photographing. So if you or maybe your partner thinks that photography is a little bit corny or cheesy or isn't really into it, it is a lot more difficult to make a connection. So we do ask that everyone that we're photographing is really on board and excited to have their story told. Are we a good fit for each other? With so many different photographers out there, it's hard to figure out which photographer is actually the right fit for you. Of course, you have to love the photographer's work. You have to go through their portfolio and really feel like you have a connection with those images. But there are a couple other things that our clients do have in common in terms of the qualities and values that they share. We welcome any client to book a consult with us and to learn more about us. And we want to learn more about you. But our clients are also people who love photography, but who are also really trusting in the artists that they hire. They're people who are understanding that we have to have a shared vision and respect that. Our clients are people who are deeply in love with each other and who are truly excited to have the story of their wedding day captured, as well as the story of their friends and their family on that day. We welcome any client to book a consult with us because we wanna learn more about you and more about your wedding. How much photoshopping do you do? We are a body positive company. We believe it's not our place to decide that your body or your face or your skin isn't good enough. We value who you are as an individual and what you look like. If you're concerned about the way you look, I can guarantee you that a well-tailored outfit and an awesome makeup artist are some of the most valuable investments that you can make. If you do feel like you're the type of person who needs the nipping and the tucking and the magazine style retouching, Let's discuss this during your consult. It may mean that we aren't quite the right fit for each other. Can I edit my own images? Sometimes clients will ask us if they can edit their own images. 
We've worked really, really hard over the last decade to establish our signature style. We do ask that our clients not alter our images. If you find that you're asking that question or that you feel like asking that question, it may be a sign that the photographer you're looking at isn't actually the best fit for you. I would encourage you, instead of asking that question, of exploring a few other options to see if there's some other photographers around whose style matches your needs a little bit more. Have you ever worked at my venue before? If you're dealing with an experienced wedding photographer like myself and the team here at 10 to 10, it's no big deal if you've never been to that venue before. In fact, it can be inspiring and really, really fun as an artist to get to go somewhere new. Can I have the raw files? Raw files are unprocessed images. They don't have the 10 to 10 signature color profile added to it, and they really don't look like our work. In fact, raw files can be downright ugly sometimes because professional photographers know how they can push and pull and manipulate that photo afterwards to turn it into an amazing work of art. Because raw photos are unfinished products, we don't sell them to our clients. Don't worry though, you're getting high resolution files from us. They're 300 DPI and they are ginormous files. They print beautifully. You're gonna love the quality of them and they're gonna look great whether you print them through us or yourself. What's your turnaround time? Our turnaround time for a full wedding is approximately eight to 12 weeks, although it can vary a little bit based on seasonal workload. We do take on a limited number of commissions every month to help ensure that our queue is as quick as possible and that you get your images as quickly as possible. Do you do sneak peeks? We have a team at 10 to 10 and it's a team of photographers and a team of editors and we work together to get you your wedding photos. Because we have a different workflow than a photographer who may be operating by themselves, your sneak peeks will come out, but they come out a little bit later in the process. For us, it's really, really important that your images get backed up, sorted through, and then backed up again before we start the editing process. Sneak peeks are generally released just before your whole gallery is ready. Our goal is to provide you with your full gallery as quickly as possible. We know you want to see all your wedding images. How many images do we get? On average, we tell clients to expect about 50 photos per hour that we're shooting. Of course, this number can vary a little bit. For a full day wedding with two photographers, the average wedding will yield about 500 to 700 images. After the wedding, your images are gonna go through a process called culling. This means that the test shots, the blinking shots, and images that don't quite meet our artistic standard are gonna be left aside and all of the amazing images are gonna continue forward to the editing process. An important thing to note about choosing a wedding photographer is that more images doesn't necessarily mean better quality images. We strive to provide you a unique gallery of unique images that tell the whole story of your day. Do you have a contract? Absolutely, we do have a contract and all of our contracts are processed online through our studio management system called ShootQ. When you're ready to book, we'll send you a contract online and you can e-sign it and make payment through your client portal. It's really, really easy and it takes only a few minutes. What form of payment do you take? Our preferred method of payment is email money transfer, but we do accept all major credit cards. Can you save our date while we make our decision? This is such a tough question to answer because in my heart, I would love to hold everyone's wedding day for them. But truthfully, we can't hold your wedding day without your retainer being paid and the contract being signed. I understand that a lot of couples will need time to talk to each other after a consult and make a decision, and that's okay. During your consult, we can talk to you about what happens afterwards and how the booking process works. My best advice for you would be to book your consult during a time frame where you think you might be ready to make a decision. Booking a consult and then waiting several weeks increases the risk that your photographer may no longer be available when you are ready to make your decision. How much is your deposit? To retain us for your wedding day, a 30% retainer is due at the time of signing your contract, another 30% retainer is due at the midpoint during our relationship together, and your final balance is due one week before the wedding. Do you offer discounts? I absolutely understand that every client out there is on some kind of a budget. That being said, Unfortunately, we cannot discount our services, but we do have a wide variety of packages available and we encourage you to explore those to see which ones meet your needs best. Do we need a second shooter? Second shooters became a very trendy thing a few years ago. All of a sudden, 
all these wedding photographers started including two shooters in their packages. But truthfully, a well-trained, experienced wedding photographer can handle a wedding day by themselves without the need of a second shooter. When it comes to your consult, we're going to talk about your wedding day, what your needs are, and what the schedule of the day is like. If we feel like it may be beneficial to have a second shooter, given the uniqueness of your day, we'll let you know. But there's absolutely no reason to be scared if you don't have a second shooter. We've got this, don't worry. Can I give you a list of photos to take? We always go into a wedding day knowing what combinations of family photos we're going to take. Organizing family photos ahead of time is a great way to keep your wedding on schedule. Keep in mind though, we are documentary style photographers. So that means we're capturing your day naturally as it happens and we're not forcing moments to happen. Of course, if there's something really, really unique to your day that you think we're gonna miss, point it out. We're happy to hear you out on that. Do you have backup equipment? Absolutely, we have backup equipment. We go to every wedding with extra cameras, flashes, lenses, batteries, memory cards, everything that you could possibly imagine. Our cameras are set up with two separate memory cards so that we're making a backup copy of your photos while we're actually shooting the wedding day. As much as we like to have fun and be relaxed during the day, we do take the behind the scenes stuff really seriously when it comes to image safety. What happens if you're sick? This is a really scary question for people to ask. What does happen if your photographer's sick? The first thing I want to let you know is that wedding photographers are tough cookies. We have shot weddings with colds, with sinus infections, with sprained ankles. I even started shooting weddings a few weeks after I had my son. So we are tough cookies, we can handle it. If we start feeling a little bit sick or under the weather before the wedding, we would do the same thing that you guys would do. We would go to the pharmacy, we would ask the pharmacist what we can take, how much of it we could take, and we will hustle and we will get it done. If for some reason we're dealing with a major emergency and we couldn't be there on your wedding day, the first thing that we would do is turn to the other photographers in the company. If anyone is available, they would be there to replace us in a heartbeat. Our priority is making sure that someone is at your wedding for coverage. If everyone on our team is booked, the next thing we would do is turn to our network of peers here in Toronto. Having been at this almost 10 years, we are so lucky to know and to be friends with some of the most amazing talent in the city. Our community sticks together in times of need and we are always here to help each other. Our priority again is to have someone at your wedding day. So we would turn to that community and we would make sure that someone amazing is there to be in our place. But again, we're tough cookies. We have this plan in place, but we've never had to execute it. With over 500 weddings under our belts as a company, we've never once missed a wedding. Is it okay for people to take photos while you're taking photos? Your wedding day is gonna be an awesome day, not only for you, but for your family and your friends. They're gonna to wanna to make their own memories and they're gonna to wanna to take photos as well. I know that unplugged weddings are a trend and some photographers really push them, but we understand that your friends and your family want to make their memories too. So I have no problems with them photographing during your ceremony, during your reception, or if they're hanging out with you in the morning. We do ask for privacy during your family photos and during your couple's photos. And there's a really good reason for that. Having extra people around during those times are really distracting for the people that we're photographing. When we're capturing your family, we want everyone paying attention to our camera. These are the photos you're paying for. When there's other people hanging out, taking photos as well, it's almost impossible to get everyone looking in the right place at the same time. When we're doing your couple's photos, it can be really intimidating to have your family around watching you. Because our style relies on having that connection with our couple, if you're distracted or intimidated or worried because someone's watching you, that might show in your photos. So privacy is best when it comes to the formal photos, but your friends, your family can photograph at any point in the day. We know they love you too. The next step is to book your consultation. Your consultation is gonna be with the photographer who you're choosing to work with on your wedding day. We want you to get to know them right away from the very beginning. During the consult, ask us any questions that you have. We're more than happy to answer them for you, even if it's something that we've already covered in this video. We're really, really looking forward to chatting with you and we hope to hear from you soon.